I want to show you how easy it is to add data and geocode uh, addresses with felt maps. Now, I'm going to just give you a caveat here. Felt is not an open source tool. It uses a lot of open source tools behind the scenes. It Right now, it's free. There's going to be paid versions coming at the beginning of 2024, but there's going to be a free version. And I'm sharing Felt with you because it's such an easy way to get started with, with GIS. It's just, it's just dead simple and dead easy. Okay, so I'm just at my Felt um, main page here. I can click on Recent. You'll probably see this page when you're logged in. You can create an account for free and you'll get to this page once you go through the setup. Um, and so I can just go to my Teams, or I can create a new map here, wherever. I'm just going to create a new map. And this is just going to give me a blank canvas with the base map on it, and it's got Salt Lake City where it's centered on. It's probably where my server location is coming from, from my IP address. Now, what I want to do is I have this sheet here. This is an Excel sheet. Um, I also have it in CSV form, and you can see here there's no there are no coordinates here. I just have an address, a city, and a state, and these are for just a tire a tire shop, mechanic shop uh, we have in the Western United States. So you can see I've listed these out for a few different locations, um, and I want to find the coordinates for these, but I don't have them here. I just have addresses. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that with felt. So I'm gonna to go to where these files are. You can see here I have the Excel file and the CSV file. Um, I can just grab, I'll grab the CSV. I can just grab this and I can just drag it over to felt. I'm gonna drag it over and I wanna select here elements. Um, the reason I'm selecting elements is because if I do it this way, I can export them as a GeoJSON. If I do a data layer, it will still geocode and show up, but it's gonna be harder to export. I'm going to do this to elements and I'll be able to export. And I'm going to click create. And now it's uploading this CSV file. And once it finishes uploading, it shouldn't take too long. It's a very small file. Um, it's going to start processing. And you can see there it says processing now. And once it's done processing, it's going to show up in my table of contents over here with the legend. And it's going to give me the locations of those stores. So you can see that I have it here. Um, if I can go zoom to fit, and you can see that it gave me the locations of those stores. I didn't do anything. I just uploaded this file and it found out um, what the data were and where they should go. And it does this using an AI model, a large language model. Uh, it's a chat GPT type model, but it's not chat GPT. It just looks at your data, identifies what type of data they are, and then identifies a service to use to best display them on the map. So there we go, we have these data. Now what I wanna do is I wanna save this as a GeoJSON so I can import them somewhere else. So if I go into felt, um, I can go to, where's the export button? There it is, download all elements as GeoJSON. So I can do this and I'm gonna save these. Um, we'll save it as untitled map GeoJSON, that's fine and I'll click save. And now that's saved that file. And now that file is saved, what I can do is go over to QGIS, which I have open here already. I'll go to my browser. I will go find this file, downloads, and it's untitled map.geojson. And it's gonna be down here towards the bottom. I have a lot of stuff in my downloads folder. Um, Untitled map geojson, that's the one we just added. And we'll just drag it over. And we've added those points in. Now, let's go back to browser, go up, get rid of this. Let's add in OpenStreetMap, just so that we can see where these pop up. And I'll change the symbology a little bit so they're easier to see. There we go. And now you can see that they appear in QGIS because I've just converted them to a geospatial format and it was super simple to do. If I went back into my browser, back to my downloads folder, and if I go grab that original CSV file, which is this one here, and I drag it in, you'll notice that it's just a table here. 
um, it's not geographic features. Uh, so you can see the power and felt in using that large language model to identify what your data are and display them and then allow you to export them uh, into a different format so they could be used with analysis elsewhere. So that's the quick tip for today is how you can quickly and easily geocode with felt. If you're interested to receive more geospatial content, write to your email inbox. Go ahead, go ahead and sign up for the geospatial school newsletter that I do. Um, you can sign up at the link below. Uh, thanks for watching as always, and I hope you found this useful and informative.